Well, five fans, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Four rounds, this skeleton in the super welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks, trimmed in white, he weighed it officially 147 and three quarter pounds. In his fourth professional bounce, he joins us tonight from Newark, New Jersey. Here is Jordan Rosario. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the colors of red, white, and blue with silver. He weighed it officially 147 and one quarter pounds. And tonight, he makes his professional debut, fighting out of and representing Santana, California. Here is Alexis Rocha. And your referee in charge of the action is Wayne Hitchpan. Let's go. All right, we're good here. The fighters receive your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself. Touch them up. Wayne Hedgebeth running this ring. Get ready to go for the tail of the tape between Alexis Rocha and Jordan Rosario. Yeah, the glaring stat here is the age. At 18, Rocha is seven years younger. He is two inches taller at five foot 10 and he has a very slight reach advantage. Alexis Rocha, 18 years old, the southpaw in the red, white, and blue trunks, takes on uh, the Dominican Jordan Rosario, born in Santo Domingo, now living and training in Newark, New Jersey. Alexis Rocha, 18 Watch years ahead. old, the younger brother of Ronnie Rios, who had an impressive win in Las Vegas on the Cotto Canelo undercard against Jason Velez. Alexis Rocha, Weighing 154 pounds. Your punch is up. Started Watch boxing at the age of 14. He was a kid who was overweight. Went to the gym because he wanted to lose weight. And there he was at the gym. His brother Ronnie was telling me after a couple times sparring, he was like, wait a minute, my 14-year-old brother has something in him. Let's get into this. Fuck. And after that, really dedicated himself to physical fitness. Watch your head, watch your Lost head. Lost all the weight, and here he is now making his pro debut, fighting for Golden Boy Promotions. He is signed by Oscar DeLoyo, right, Roberto Diaz, and Step Eric back. Gomez to Golden Boy. Looking very solid as a professional welterweight. And he was precocious. It, it didn't out take out long out for him, just a couple of years, to transform from go. an overweight kid to um, one of the better junior amateurs, junior le level amateurs, under 16 amateurs in the country. Doug, he got hit, uh, Rosario, with a good body shot about 10 seconds ago. That really bent him over. Speaking to Robert Diaz, who's in Washington, D.C., for tomorrow night's fight, I asked him for a quick scouting report on Rocha, and the words he used were very aggressive, a body puncher, and, quote, can crack. Yeah, that's what I've always heard. I, you know, obviously, from his, his trainer, Hector Lopez. In fact, Lopez will not let Ronnie spar with younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Despite watch the fact head, that, that Ronnie is well rated, well, he's well, a featherweight. A younger, but much bigger. <laughs> yeah. Rocha, younger brother of Ronnie Reels. There's four kids in that family. Older brother also boxed. Rocha, a six time national champion, so he made up for lost time quickly. Working the body, landing the shots. Big right hand landed by the Seagerstrom High School Jaguar alum. He won some national uh, tournaments. He won the uh, the Junior Olympic Nationals in 2012. He was very young. 14 out of 15 years old. Fighting out of TKO boxing in Orange County is Alexis Rosa. Gordon Rosario, 0-3 in, in his young career. He's 25 years old from Jersey City, New Jersey. And a tough one with an 18-year-old. Like you said, can crack. He's landed some heavy shots here in the opening round. Especially to the body. Definitely his, his, his best shots, whether it's uh, from his lead hand or, or his left hand. Those body shots are his, harder, his hardest and his most accurate Stop shots. Final seconds of the opening round. A good one for the 18-year-old Alexis Rocha, who doesn't look like he's 18. Let's hear the strategy from Rocha as he talks to the Ring TV Live crew. I want very excited for my first pro fight. I want to go and excite the fans, and give everyone a good show, you know, start off my professional career and a good start. I want to show that I can develop. I've 
keep trying to make that transition from amateur style to the professional style. I'm a boxer puncher. I like boxing, using my jab, using my distance, my reach. But then once I get in the inside, I like getting to the body and working to the head. To the head. There's trainer Hector Lopez with Alexis Rocha. And I do appreciate all the tweets you guys are sending us. Make sure you use the hashtag RingTVLive so we can filter through all of them. For everybody using a Yip TV. Do appreciate everybody. Yip TV also headquartered in New Jersey. That's where Jordan Rosario comes to us. Born in Santo Domingo. Jordan Rosario. Yo, you guys have told me that there's some fighters that live in the gym. Head, they're always there. Boxing well, here. Jordan Rosario literally <laughs> lives in the gym. At the gym that he trains out of. It's basically a basement. It's a basement. And that's where he's at. Wakes up, gets the workout in, helps clean up around right, the please, gym. Don't punch it, step back. He has a young daughter. He said he fights for her, making that money, goes straight to her. And he's in a tough one here with Alexa right, let Rocha. Him go, let him go, let him go. Very game. I like the way he started round one. Pushing the younger man, the favorite guy, back against the ropes, trying to work the inside. And he dealt with some pain. I know Rocha must have to hurt him a few yeah. times to the midsection in, in the opening round, but Let his hands he's still go. Let game his hands and, go. and they're slugging away. Yeah, it's one of the ways that you want the guy's power basically to smile right. him. Yeah, but that, you that just hurt, see Rocha, him. one thing you need to do, just keep working that body. Uh, one thing about Rosario that's been pretty impressive is the way he squares and then he turns his shoulders, doesn't really give a flat surface to hit up top. Landing the shots upstairs, goes to the body. A really poised 18-year-old right, Alexis Rosa. Don't Jordan Rosario is 0-3, has been stopped twice, but never has touched the canvas. Go, Both times him. he was on his no feet when the referee jumped in to stop the fight. His oh. last fight with the decision here, he's just absorbing yeah. body shots from Alexis Rocha. It's scheduled for four, but the amount of body work that Rocha is doing in the corner is Rosario. More body work from the 18-year-old. And tremendous leverage on these body shots. Uh, he's loading up. his lead hand, which is kind of rare. And you see referee, oh, Wayne Hedgepath is looking close, and he will stop the fight. And he has. He did. In his pro debut, Alexis Rocha. Rosario. Yeah, Hedgepath doesn't wait till you go down. If you're in a lot of trouble and you're not firing back, uh, especially if you're up against the ropes, Hedgepath will wave it off. I thought that was pretty impressive. I think he realized Rosario is pretty elusive and slick up top, rolling with punches, making sure his shoulders are a little bit turned away from the oncoming fire. And then he just went downstairs and started chopping that wood, and that opened everything up. And let's look at the stoppage from Alexis Rocha that came in the second round, but he was landing those big, heavy shots. Beautiful right hook, followed by a straight left. He changes his angle, decent footwork from the young man. He's about ready to get off to the body and the head again, and Hedgepath said, no, Rosario, you've had enough. We've seen this a lot, Doug, where very good amateurs have a hard time transitioning into the pro game, planting their feet, punching with leverage, fighting at a certain pace. Uh, I know it's only low pitch softball he faced tonight, but I, I thought Rocha kind of looked like a seasoned pro, even in this particular performance. Yeah, he seems to have a professional. Let's go to ring announcer Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. One minute, 43 seconds. Round number two, referee Wayne Hedgepath puts a halt to this bout. Your winner by KO victory in his professional debut, Alexis Rocha. Gets the victory, the stoppage. We'll be talking to him soon. And when you come from a fighting family, and your brother's making a big name for himself lately, and Ronnie Rios, you better come out and do something with Ronnie in, in attendance with the entire family from Orange County, or from Santa Ana, or as the locals, or as the cool kids say, Santana is where <laughs> Alexis Rocha is from. Let's look at some highlights from his fight. And it was all Alexis Rocha, despite the game effort from Jordan Rosario. Rosario came out fast, tried to crowd the young man. That didn't work because the young man has a good inside game and very heavy hands to the body. 
amazing, Doug. You come from the same gene pool of him and Ronnie Rios. And Ronnie Rios basically has a whipple ball bat, more of a slick boxer. Yeah. And this guy here has a Louisville slugger. And you can just see the way how composed he is and the type of leverage he gets on his shots. It just looks like a seasoned veteran. He really does. And he was very comfortable in there. I forgot that, that this was his pro debut. He didn't act like it. No, he really did. <laughs> I mean, he didn't act like it. He's it's like, he, like he's had like seven or eight fights. Yeah, he act like he's had a bunch of fights. I didn't see any nerves, anxiety, or even over-anxiousness, which is normal. Yeah, we're on camera here, but I'm taking a, you know, Doug's really hooking him up. Alexis Rocha, I'm taking his picture for Twitter. Come on now, put your picture up. Alexis Rocha, the camera's right there. Make sure you, first of all, 18 years old. I asked you yesterday, what was it like getting ready for your first pro fight? You said you were excited. Now you go and stop the dude in the second round. Now what that feel like? It felt good, but I still need to work on some stuff. Um, I felt like I was rushing in too much. Um, it's your first pro fight, man. Yeah. Enjoy it a little bit. Of course. <laughs> I'm enjoying every minute okay, of it. Right. But what'd you think, though? Like, finally, that you step out, everything's taken care of. I love the pro field. Way better than the amateurs. <laughs> a little rougher because of the head. Because of the no headgear, the guy was coming in with, uh, with the head a lot in the second round. Other than that, I love it. You'll see some he uh, some highlights here, and he, he came out fast, tried to smother you. Yeah. Why was he not able to do that? Um, oops, can you repeat that again? He tried to smother you uh -huh. at the start of this fight, and you quickly got to his body. I'm just yeah. asking you technically, what did you do to back him off and get that respect? I uh, used my jab. Um, I, I wasn't. I was trying to control the ring because my coach is always telling me to work work behind the jab and work in my momentum. Uh -huh. Oh. And he did come out fast, yeah. tried smothering me, but uh, Check it out. like I said, I got used to the, the feel, Check and now I'm ready. It looked good. like he was a little bit difficult to hit cleanly in the face, but Hold you up. had yeah. no problem landing to the body. Oh, what I really oh, like, oh, Alexis, oh, is that um, you would land hard with either hand. That's a beautiful right hook that you land. But you would change angles and, and close. Yeah. And uh, I think it was very hard for him to return fire. He never knew what side of uh, his body that you were on, yeah. and what punch you were, you were teeing off with. Uh, yeah, just changing the different styles, giving different looks to the opponents. You know, you never want to just be one punch. You want to mix up the, you want to mix up the pace by switching angles, uh, change your speeds, you know, uh, throw a little pitter pads and then two hard shots. And that's what we've been working on in the gym for the pro style. 18-year-old Alexis Rocha from Seagerstrom High School, TKO Boxing, and I'm gonna say this right, representing Santana. Yep. It's his pro debut, a second round stoppage. Congratulations, go enjoy it, man. Thank you, man. That's Alexis Rocha. Thanks a lot. Make sure you take care of him. We're gonna come back. Oh, we gotta take the pictures now. We gotta look at that, right, man. We're posing here. That's right, that's right. We keep on going. This is Ring TV Live is multi-platform. We do it all, right? Is there, oh, we're gonna do another one too? Oh, here we go, another one. This is Brenda Garcia. This is live stream right here. We're taking care of you guys. Will Ryan, we're back there. Hope to see you in the ring three. very soon. Come back, we'll wrap it up for the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles.